Hi guys. So I was having some issues with my Cricut and the cutting being off and printing stickers. I have been playing with this thing for hours now. <laughs> this is only day two of me using my Cricut, so I'm still figuring things out. But according to the messages I've been receiving on Instagram, it seems like other people have had their crickets longer than me and are having issues and are coming to me for advice, which just blows my mind. Like, thank you guys so much. So I wanted to show you what I just did that just like completely changed the game for me. So I, this came up my recommended, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and give a, give a subscribe here. This is a TikTok compilation of like just you know cricket life hacks or whatever so this tiktoker sweet honeycomb crafts shared this tip so i wanted to pass this along to you guys so they were having issues with the cut being off and i was having the same thing so i'm going to show you guys what i just learned so you open up your cricket design space right and you go up here to the little ba three bars whatever and you go to calibration this just like fixed everything. So you just click print and cut. And so it's going to print a calibration sheet for you and it walks you through all the steps. So you print the sheet, it's just, you know, you print on just a regular old piece of um, printer paper and then you put your sheet on the mat and then it just, it starts and it literally like it's step-by-step step, um, and it basically like it will cut a bunch of different lines and you can see where the where the cuts are off and it tells you like you know it says hey you know which one of these lines was the most you know centered and then you choose it and it and it worked and now it works so i just i wanted to share that with you guys because this just like changed the game and i thought i was going freaking crazy uh because my cuts were off and i was like what am i doing wrong and so now <laughs> I want to show you how I printed these digitals from the Honeybee Shop these days of the week. I've had a lot of people asking me about um, how to print like letter stickers. And this is actually the wrong file. So we're going to go into here. We're going to go, all right, upload. So I'm going to walk you through what I did in order to print these because when I say I screwed up many times, you have no idea. I was almost ready to just throw in the towel and just, <laughs> and just completely give up. So this right here, I actually just made um, in Photoshop just using a font that I had on my computer. And you see how there's like a white outline around the text? That's very important. So we're going to hop on over here to... Uh, to Photoshop. You don't have to use Photoshop. Any kind of program where you can add a border or stroke around your image or your text will be just fine. So I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, so this was the digital file from the Honeybee Shop. And then I'm also going to open up the one that I made. So as you can see here, there is a white background already on this. I'm a little confused as to why that is because with the digitals, the background is usually transparent, but it's very easy to just erase the white background, which we wanna do. So you just go in with your select tool and just select a small piece of the white background. A lot of programs will do this automatically. If you have Canva Pro, you can automatically remove the background. Um, here in Photoshop, what I do is I just select this white here, just a little piece of it. I go to select similar and then it selects all the white. And then I control X and take out the background. That's just how I do it. You might have a different way to do it. Photoshop has a million different ways to do different things. And so these are from the Adult EAF box and you can go in and I hope that Shan is okay with me doing this, but I like to change the colors to like match my, my layout. Um, I made like some gray ones, so it was you know neutral, but this is, you know, Shan's handwriting from the Honeybee Shop. Her handwriting is so cute, so beautiful, and I love the way the highlight is behind it. So to print these and cut these on your Cricut. So I didn't realize this when I was starting, where I was just putting this file into Cricut Design Space and trying to print it, 
and I couldn't like printing around this tiny little black text and the, it wasn't obviously it wasn't working so because I'm printing on white sticker paper not clear sticker paper but matte white I want to have you know I could buy from many different sticker shops I want to have a nice little white border around my text okay it's very simple again here I am in Photoshop I'm going to go to the uh, quick select tool and just drag it over everything here. You can also just select all. Since there is no background, it will automatically select everything. And we're just going to go here to the layers panel, layer styles, the little FX here, stroke. So stroke is a border, basically. So you want to make sure it's on outside. And you can adjust the size so however you like it if you want it to be really thin. I find right around like 15 is really good for using for stickers. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to hit OK. Deselect with Control D. And there we have it. So then save as phase of week white border test. Okay, we're going to hit save. Now we're going to go back to Cricut Design Space. I'm just going to hit complex like I always do. Looks great. Save as print then cut image. And we're going to add that. And then I'm also going to add another one of these because I need another one of these. And I might as well do that too. All right, so now we have the white border around the days of the week. Now you'll see here, there's a white border around these as well. I went in and did the exact same thing in Photoshop. Again, this is just a font that I had on my computer. Um, so this is not my handwriting, it's just a font that I had. Um, and so the, the trickiest thing here is just making sure the size is correct. So just making sure that um, you know, making sure that the days of the week aren't you know, too large or too small, depending on what kind of planner you have, um, you know, where you want to use them. And you can kind of just play around with it and look. I have it set on inches here, so you can um, just kind of, you know, imagine um, what it would be like. You can, you know, measure, really, you know, play around with it and see, but I like to do it just about right here. Then again, I just made these in Photoshop using a font that I had on my computer. So nothing special. I wish that was my handwriting, but it is not. <laughs> and something else I learned on TikTok from, I can't even remember, it was like three or four different people. But I was tired of wasting my, um, wasting my sticker paper, like wasting the space. Like I would just print one little thing and then the whole rest of the sheet is kind of wasted. So the easiest thing to do is go here to shapes, square. And then we go up here where it says size and you can hit unlock and you do 6.75 by 9.25, which is the max that the Cricut will allow. So you just drag this right up here, all the way to the left. And then you go over here to the layers panel and bring this all the way down. And that way, it kind of serves as your background. So you think of this as just your sheet. So this is all the room you have to work with. So you can just fill this up, because um, you might as well, I mean, you don't want to waste this space down here, right? So I'm just going to print some more of these. I can right click and hit duplicate to put another one. I could even rotate these to give myself more space here. I think I will do that. Hold shift to keep it, um, you know, proportionate here, like and just fit as many as you possibly can. I might add one more thing over here. 
Hi, Bella. We'll print another one of these. Because this is just beautiful. And the one I printed is pretty large. This Cricut's going to be like, what are you doing printing this diagonal like this? But we're going to see if it works. I just want to maximize my space. OK. So now I've got the whole canvas filled up. Now make sure you turn the visibility off on this square. You're just using that to give yourself you know, an idea of how much room you have to work with, but just turn that off. And now we're going to go to make it. Hi, editing me. Forgot to mention that you should select all of those layers and hit flatten image before you click make it. Because if you click make it, it's going to arrange everything you put on the canvas so that it will fit. But you want it to look exactly how you just laid it out. So if you hit flatten, then it will print exactly the way that it looks, that the way that you set it up. OK, bye. All right. Looks good to me. Continue. Send to printer. I already have the sticker paper in my printer. I'm going to do add bleed because that seems to be what's working the best for these. I'm going to do use system dialog to make sure that I select. I don't have sticker paper as an option for my printer for some reason, but I select photo papers, matte photo paper because it's matte sticker paper and it works. And then we're going to hit print. All right, now that we have printed on our sticker paper, I just slapped it right here onto the mat, make sure it's in the upper left-hand corner. Slide under the tabs, hit the load and unload button. Oh, I should probably mention, I had the dial on custom, and then on the Cricut Design Space, I selected under custom, you can choose anything, and I selected white sticker paper. All right, now it's going to grab the map, and we're ready to hit begin. <laughs> So this should be a much better cut than I had before. Before it was cutting off just the very bottom of the text and it was driving me a little bit crazy. So now that we have calibrated, it should be much, much better. I can already see that it is so much better. All right, this is gonna take a few minutes. So I'm going to speed this up for y'all and then show you the result. All right, guys, look. Look how clean that is. Perfectly aligned. And we have some great days of the week stickers to use in our planner. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Please uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more. I will have more Cricut content, more Plan With Me's, more B6TN memory keeping, all kinds of stuff. So be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye.